What is good guys, it's Ida from Afro Kicks and welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today I've got something super exciting to show you. So basically I teamed up with the guys over at Sneaker Science. If you guys haven't checked them out, I don't know what you're waiting for. They've got like all the supplies, especially if you're not in the US. Sneaker Science is the place to buy like everything to do with custom sneakers so we created an afro kicks paint kit and basically what it is is six colors that i will i will show you the six colors we've got some fashetta we have got mustard we have got scarlet red we have got my favorite color of all time blue turquoise we have got chocolate and we have got flat white and the reason why we have these colors guys is because it was created to match my signature kente cloth so these colors together are basically the colors that you find on here some of them you might have to tweak a bit like maybe add some white to the mustard to get it a bit closer to the yellow that you want but that is what we've got. I've put a link in the description box where you can find this paint kit. And if you do create something with it, make sure you take pictures, tag me on the Instagram page at Afro Kicks, make videos of it, just do your thing, okay? This is the inspiration, but really you can go wild with it. Just using these six paint colors and I'd love to see what you guys create. But without further ado, let's just jump into this video where I show you what I'm gonna create. I'm using acetone on a cotton pad. I'll put a link in the description where you can find both of these products. Using this to rub down all the factory finish off of the leather so that the paint can stick right onto the shoes. So I used mustard here. Most of the colors that I actually show you, I end up mixing later on down the line because I didn't feel like they matched as closely as I wanted them to. So I, later on, I ended up mixing the mustard with some white just to make it a bit brighter. I also ended up mixing the scarlet red with some white as well because it was a bit too dark for my liking. And then I mixed the chocolate with the scarlet red just because the color that I was trying to get had a little little hint of reddish purple in it so adding those two together worked perfectly I also mixed the fashetta with the chocolate just to get it a bit darker but I'll show you that process in the video the only one that I didn't actually need to amend was the blue turquoise because I thought that was a perfect match to this is to do multiple thin layers of paint with some colors you may need to do more layers with others you have to do less once you're able to have the paint there without seeing any paint strokes that's when you know you've done enough layers
using a heat gun for a few seconds between each layer really helps quicken the drying process. Now it's time for me to add one of my favourite patterns from the Kente cloth. In order to paint the tongue tag, I'm adding some of the blue turquoise along with Angelus is too soft. This product allows the paint to be nice and soft and flexible so that it doesn't scratch on your skin and crack. I'm also going to use this mixture on the back tab when I paint over the Nike logo. Here is the finished product let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below and make sure to also get yourself an afro kicks paint kit and tag me all over social media so i can see what you have created mm -hmm.